Egypt and uh, Uganda opponents that have made in the World Cup qualifiers on the road to 2018. Yeah. And familiar opponents, the last three meetings, more recent meetings have ended in favor of Egypt, but Uganda have really stacked their necks out in this tournament and, and they're ready to, to, to mix with the big boys. I'll say if you look at Uganda, it has a, a squad that has been together for quite some time and it has a, a squad that uh, possesses some bit of experience. Of course, uh, we all know that uh, if you look at the GKs, it might, might be one of the best in Africa. But again, uh, if you want to go uh, based with the history, uh, I think it favours more Egypt because uh, for the 20, 21 times they have met, they have emerged uh, winner 17 times. So maybe if you go with the history, it, it favors Egypt. But this being a tournament, again, you can't rule out Uganda. Mm -hmm. And Uganda will be playing uh, before uh, before home crowd that's in Egypt. Egypt will be playing at home, and Uganda will be. Does the home crowd play in, in, in dampening Uganda's spirits here? Yeah, the home crowd can be like the 12th man. You know, can lift the players, it can get them, you know wanting to, to try harder. I think in this match though, I think Egypt already know they're going through. Um, Uganda seem to already know they're going through as well. And I think looking at the stats, they look like they could probably get through with just, with just a draw. So I don't know if it's going to be as much of a, an attacking display rather than a try out some of the younger players. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, uh, Kanu, uh, Uganda will, will have to be at its best. We're talking about uh, if, if uh, their game against Zimbabwe, the defense was a little bit, uh, you know, not up to up to the task, you know. But uh, they managed to 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 hold on to a draw, right? If they have to beat Egypt today, what level should uh, the defense and especially the the last man here talking about Denis Onyango, the top goalkeeper in Africa? What what level should he be? What I'm uh, sure with uh, is that uh, if you look at uh, the defence line, mm -hmm. some bit of experienced players, if you look at Wasua, Walusimbi and of course uh, at the back, Denis Onyango, uh, they will rely more of uh, the cohesion in terms of uh, communication because they all possess a bit of, a bit of experience. Mm -hmm. But again, for them to defend well, actually, it will, it will, it will mean that uh, the attackers will have to get more goals because you will see that uh, Zimbabwe, it was all up for them to win the game and they didn't win the game. Actually, they had lots of chances to win the game. Mm -hmm. uh, but I bet that besides scoring from the set pieces, of course, uh, Okwe came in and scored in an open, in an open, in an open situation. Mm -hmm. But they will have to get two, two, two or more goals, actually, mm -hmm. for their defense line to be settled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Uganda have uh, made a habit of getting off to fast starts so far in this competition. We were up inside of a quarter of an hour against uh, both DR Congo. Uganda, of course, uh, this uh, nation who are looking to try and get the ball over into uh, the penalty area. There's a shot coming in. Oh, it's very close. It was on target and it was well spotted and it was followed there by El Shenoui, but uh, Farag Meyer. Defensive play from Bahair against uh, Lenort, of course, uh, just because Al has got a yellow. Such a dangerous player, isn't he? And that's a wonderful touch. Trezeguet, Trezeguet to the penalty. Well, Mohamedi down into the corner. And a uh, good running, good opportunity. The ball pushed through to uh, Mayer. Oh, it's kicked out right in front of the goalkeeper. Shenoui just clashing there with Bahair. And the Ismaili centre back and uh, the Ahali goalkeeper. A chance delivered into the penalty area. Ooh, it was just uh, to try and win the win the, the battle in the midfield, and uh, we'll see that throughout. Uh, Said the very the perfect pass. Most uh, good physical play to just blast the ball away. And there's a free kick just uh, in. 21 year old. Goes in there, but it's uh, Shenoui's kick hits him in the ear. against the captain, tries to go inside, outside, gets the shot in, it's not a bad one either, but it's taken well by El Shenoui, who just stands upright, sees it coming, but you can see from this, that's a, a fine play, and a uh, loose ball, and uh, Hassan getting clobbered there, Aucho, yeah, because Aucho didn't see him coming, and uh, he's about to hit the ball, and Just pushed off his feet there by Hassan. Yeah, six foot three Hassan. Uh, really disappointed that he didn't get into the, the final against the cranes of Uganda. And El Neni just gets knocked off. There's some uh, very physical teams that are, well, that's offside there. The idea was good. No one ever goes through the same equivalent pain. It's about one two to try and get the ball back to Salah was. Uh, an absolute legend, of course, uh, 
in world football for Swedish country. He must be such a proud man. And uh, he plays for Serie 23s. And now he's into the senior team. This is all. Oh, that's a nice piece of uh, interesting player as well. And that was uh, really slickly done. And he would have ran onto that as well if it wasn't for the uh, it's fantastic stuff. And how about that for a challenge by Hassan bringing down Salah? Two opportunities. And I'm afraid that that's uh, not good enough. Uh, Uganda could most definitely taken the lead, and that would have been remarkable in itself to be played. Uh, Mo Salah tees up the free kick. Oh, Mo Salah scored! How about that for a free kick? Into the corner it goes on Yango, who just gets his fingers to it, but he can't keep it out. The second goal for Mo Salah here at the Africa Cup of Nations 2019. That was delightfully struck, but it goes against the run of play, and it really is very painful for our cranes of Uganda. The Egyptian fans very content with that uh, goal, of course. They're jumping with joy. The whole nation is absolutely bouncing. The Schlein, but the ball comes out. Good opportunity. Astra! Oh, Mo Salah's there. There's a chance for Mohamedi! And it's the captain who scores his second goal. The Aston Villa man with a low strike from way out wide. And away from the goal, a long strike, a beautiful strike. And El Mohamedi makes it 2-0 for Egypt. Again, Uganda feel as though they've been shortchanged in this match going into the changing rooms in a minute or whatever. This is tough on them, very tough.